Here's an Infusionsoft video that will help you understand some of the basic functions of the application and hopefully prevent you from getting lost and help you get a little bit organized so that you can find your most used parts of the application right away and very easily. So today we're working with our homepage and this how-to is how to customize your homepage. Number one is I want to show you that you can add different links to your navigation. This area right here is your navigation. As you can see I only have two links on my navigation my day and dashboard but I can add more things to it by coming up here to the Infusionsoft symbol. As you can see this symbol shows you the different categories that Infusionsoft has and there are different functions in each category. In order to edit this, I'm going to go to My Nav and click on the word Edit, and now I can drag in different functions. I'm going to add my contacts in, orders, my templates, and my campaign builder. These are things that I generally use on a daily basis, so those are important things to have on my navigation. If I don't use something very often, I'm going to remove it by clicking on an X. I can also reorder these by dragging them up or down. That way you will see them in the order from left to right on your navigation. Click Done and click OK. If you don't see that the changes have been made, go ahead and refresh your screen. As you can see, I have all of my new categories up here and my new functions. Some of them will have drop downs and some of them won't. So that quick tip should help you find things a little bit easier. Remember, you can always change this by clicking the icon and the word edit. The second tip I want to give you is how to use My Day to help you be a little bit more productive. You can add tasks or appointment into My Day and it will add them to your calendar. So it's kind of like a planner that you can organize all the things that you need to get done in one spot. You can add an appointment very quickly by clicking Add. You'll add a title such as a meeting or a phone call or even a doctor's appointment if you need to and you can even add a contact so I'm going to type in my name I'm gonna make a meeting with myself you'll choose a location it might be a physical appointment or an online appointment you can also manage the day and the time click Save you can also select all day if this is an appointment that is going to be all day long and you don't want anything else to show up. You can also add in a description. Maybe this is a webinar schedule or an important call with someone. If you click save, this will show up on your appointment list. Not only will it show up on your appointment list, but the contact that you added will also show up, making it really easy for you to find should you need to reschedule or send an email regarding a location change or anything, it's right there. If you want to edit this, you click on the little pencil, or if you want to delete it, you click on the trash can. You can also add tasks quickly here by typing in a word or a title and clicking add. You can click a due date and you can click contacts that are associated with this task. You might be sending an email to somebody and you want to make sure that that shows up here easily like you did with the appointments. Under type you can choose email, call, appointment, letter, or other. Since I'm not going to be calling anybody or setting an appointment I'm going to choose other and then you can also choose priority. Critical means that it needs to get done right away. Essential means that it's very important. And non-essential means kind of when I need to get it done. And then I'm going to add a description so I know what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to click Save. If you look at your calendar, it'll show you an overview of the day, week, or month of all the tasks that need to be done. There's my appointment that I added, and here are the tasks. If I want to add something, I can click on the day, and I can add a new appointment or a new tasks. 
If I click on the task, I can edit it. Next, I want to show you how to add a recurring task. So if I go to All Tasks, I can see all the tasks that I have in the future, today, or that are past due, which haven't been done. But I'm going to go ahead and click Add a Task. Here, I can add all the information that I did on the quick add, but even more. So I'm going to add the contact, the description, remind about an order, the action date and time, very similar to an appointment, any notes, who the user is assigned to, the type of action such as sending an email, the priority, when it should start, and who to notify about this task. If I click over here on the recurring tab, I can choose weekly, daily, monthly, or yearly. So I want to send out this notification every six weeks and I want to send it out on a Monday. And I'm going to end it after five occurrences. I can also set up a reminder here so that one day before I get a notification. Then I'll click Save. I can also filter this by priority, the date range, who's assigned to it, or I can search for a particular task. As you can see, I have appointments lined up, I have tasks that need to get done starting today, and I can check my calendar. Once I've completed a task, I can click a check mark in the box and it'll go away. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to organize your dashboard so that you can do some very quick searches, have some information right at your fingertips, and what you can do with your widgets. If you have any questions, let me know.